we are going to do the precipitation of some hydroxides. In six test tubes, dissolve lead 2 nitrate, iron 3 chloride, silver nitrate, copper 2 sulfate, aluminum and potassium sulfate, and calcium chloride. As these substances are ionic, when dissolved in water, they dis decompose into their corresponding ions. Precipitation consists of a chemical reaction in which an insoluble compound is formed and goes to the bottom of the container. These are the chemical reactions that are going to occur. In the first one, for example, lead 2 nitrate reacts with sodium hydroxide. Lead 2 hydroxide is formed, which precipitates, and sodium nitrate, which remains dissolved. Lead 2 hydroxide is formed in the first tube. In the second one, iron 3 hydroxide. In the third one, silver hydroxide. In the fourth one, copper 2 hydroxide. In the fifth one, aluminum hydroxide. And in the sixth one, calcium hydroxide. Shake with a rod in the tubes in which the precipitate has remained on top. In this way, the contact between the reactants is improved, so they react more and more precipitate forms.